Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, Cooks by Carrie. If you're new here, I'm Carrie and in today's Foodie Friday video, I'm going to be sharing how to make this delicious healthy French toast perfect for a weekend breakfast. Alrighty, let's get started. I found this recipe from HungryHealthyHappy.com and these are the ingredients I used. Four slices of whole wheat bread, except I didn't have whole wheat, so I used a healthy oat nut bread. Two eggs. It called for one cup of skimmed milk. However, I didn't have skimmed milk, so I just used 2% milk. Some cinnamon. Some ground nutmeg. A little bit of maple syrup. A little bit of vanilla. And lastly, half of an orange's juice and zest. This recipe made two servings of French toast. But if you go to the website, you can um, change the measurements to make it accommodate for however many people you're feeding. This recipe is extremely simple. We're taking all the ingredients but the bread and combining it in a large bowl to make the... I don't know what you'd call it, like a sauce or I wouldn't really call it a sauce. I don't know, like the the liquid we put the bread into, I guess. So I'm just mixing it all up. This means I'm mixing the milk, egg, cinnamon, nutmeg, maple syrup, vanilla, and the orange juice and zest. Now, before I dip my bread into the liquid, I'm going to start heating up my pan to medium. I'm using a large cast iron pan, but you can use whatever pan you have available to you. I am also starting the vent fan so that, um, I don't really know why you do this, but this is just something you have to do. So yeah, I'm putting it on high. Now I am taking the liquid mixture and the bread slices and I'm dipping in the bread. Also, you're going to notice that I'm using the ends of the loaf because that's what I had available to me. So that's what I used and it still tasted really good. So don't throw those out. Also, you're going to notice that I have a pretty, pretty substantial amount of liquid left at the end. I would say this recipe actually could have used six slices of bread to the amount of liquid I was using but for me I didn't want to make extra bread I didn't have any extra bread ready so um, I just stuck it in the fridge that I can make it again the next morning Now I'm taking some butter and I'm going to spread it on my preheated pan. Look at how it sizzles. Wow. Basically, you're going to want to make sure that it, the butter, it doesn't really have to go everywhere like I was doing. Just in the channel or like the middle center of the pan where it's going to get the hottest. So for me, for my pan, that was like um, the back of the pan. So like more towards the back of the stove and the center was the hottest for me and then I am taking my bread and I am just adding it to the places where I think it's most hot but also I had four and I kind of just put them where they would fit here I'm setting a timer for one minute so that I could check and hopefully flip my bread after that time but as you'll see in this clip the bread was not ready to flip for me the total cook time of the french toast for both sides was about six minutes it was two minutes on the first side and three minutes on the second side 
So now it has been two minutes and I am getting ready to flip my bread. Now this spatula definitely worked, but I would recommend going in with a sharper spatula if you have one made out of metal. But if you don't, a spatula like I'm using will work fine, just not as great as a metal spatula. You can see that beautiful golden brown color on the sides of the bread and I was just really happy at how it was looking so far. Here is a closer look at how the bread was looking. It looked so good. I was so excited and ready to dig in. But I had to wait because the other side wasn't fully cooked yet. Here I was checking to see if my bread was already done. But as you'll see, I lift this one up and notice that there was enough butter on the pin in that spot. So my French toast stuck a little bit. So what I decided to do is check the other ones, see how they were doing, and then I'm going to switch the position of two of my bread slices so that that um, closest one to the camera gets more cooked. So the ends of the bread, they were looking really good, and so is that back one. So yeah, I just switched them. Now it was time to take them off of the stove and put them on a plate, and they looked so delicious. Here's my second plate, and I'm just adding it there. This one did get a little bit more burnt, but still tasted amazing. And here I am just turning off the oven, and you can turn your vent off at this stage, too. Alrighty guys, if you could please like, comment, and subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. I have a goal of 100 subscribers, so if you could do that, that would be awesome. Alrighty, now on to the final result. So you've already seen the French toast plated, but I decided to add on a little bit of extra maple syrup to each of the plates to give it a bit of extra, I don't know, flavor. And you could also top it with some fruits. That would actually bring a lot of fiber to the dish and would be super healthy. But um, I decided to just go with this for my breakfast. And as you can see here, I'm just using this maple syrup. But you can use whatever you have on hand. Alrighty, guys. That is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram at Cooks by Carrie, And I'll see you every Monday and Friday for new videos at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Alrighty guys, bye!